Dennis helps out. It was the end of another busy day on the island of Sodor. The sun was down, the moon was up, and the engines were coming to the sheds. It has been another long day for us. It sure was, Thomas. We were more busy than you and Gordon. We have more than this much freight trains to pull. Me, Edward, Henry, and Emily. Ha! Huh. Lucky me, I don't have to pull any freight trains. I pulled the express. It's the most important thing on the island. Freight cars and goods are important too. Freight cars and goods are not like passengers. They don't mix with coaches or passengers. Never mind you two. I just don't know what will happen by tomorrow. <laughs> the next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see the engines. He had news for them. A new diesel engine has arrived on the island. His name is Dennis. You must all help him get to know about everything. Also, there is a special picnic train that will be going to Henry's Forest. If you all will do your best and work very hard, I will choose an engine to take the picnic train. And Sir Topham had left. I do hope that it will be me. Annie and Clarabel will have so much fun showing the visitors all the sights of the countryside. I think it will be an engine with bright red paint like me. Or an engine with big driving wheels. Well, we'll see who will take the picnic train, because we have to get to work right now. Ha! Huh. You can get to it anyway. But I'm not gonna take the silly picnic train. I'm far too important for that job. I'd rather pull the express. Later, Gordon steamed into the yard, where he saw a diesel engine that no engine has ever seen before. The diesel was arranging coaches. Gordon puffed over to the new arrival just as Thomas puffed in. Hello! You must be Dennis, the new engine! I'm Thomas! Nice to meet you! Hello, Thomas! You might be new, but you don't know anything. You could only mess things up. Hey! Sir Topham Hatt said we must help him get to know about everything, Gordon! 
Like how to fetch coaches maybe? Well, he isn't fetching my express coaches. Another agent should fetch them instead of him. Don't listen to Gordon, Dennis. He's not really always like that. But Dennis wasn't listening. Dennis was lazy. So lazy, he got all the coaches in the yard a bit of a milkshake muddle. Even Annie, Clarabelle, and Henrietta. Oh, dearie me! What is all of this? I don't know, Annie. I'm separated from you! By now, Gordon, Thomas, James, and Emily were late. There were no coaches on the platform. The passengers were impatient. Ugh! Where are my coaches? They should be here by now. Where are Annie and Clarabelle? Dennis should have brought them here by now. I'm going over to the coach yard. Oh, the indignity. Thomas found Dennis and couldn't believe his eyes. I thought you were gonna bring our coaches for us. The passengers are getting cross. How did this happen? The yard manager had told me to fetch coaches for you engines. I didn't know which coach was the right coach. They all looked different. I'm a very lazy engine. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! I knew that Silly Diesel could mess things up! His irresponsibility has caused confusion and delay! Sir Topham Hat will be cross when he knows about this. The passengers will complain to him, saying what a bad railway it is. If he didn't bring a stupid, ridiculous diesel like him, none of this would have happened to us. <gasps> Gordon! You don't mean that seriously! I do mean, Thomas. Whether you, the engines, or Sir Topham Hat, like it or not, it's my fact about this diesel, and that's not about to change. Oh, oh boy. Doesn't feel so good, does it, Dennis? No, it does not at all. <sighs> I just wish Gordon hadn't said that out loud. I wish I could put things right. Suddenly, Dennis had a plan. I will put things right. Dennis set to work with the coaches. He bustled about for the rest of the morning, arranging the right coaches in order, and bringing them to the engines. In no time, all the passenger trains were back on schedule. Dennis was tired, but couldn't have felt more proud. <sighs> That's... done it. That afternoon, Sir Topham had arrived on board Hero to see Dennis. My, my, Dennis. What a long holdup you have made for the engines this morning. Sorry, sir. What I had done has really made me realize some things. I see now that being really lazy is nothing to things that matter. It's hard working. 
and being a really useful engine rather than being a really lazy one. And I did bust my head because I know how much the passengers mean to the engines. Well, you did cause a bit confusion and delay, but you learned your mistake in the end. Well done, Dennis! You are a really useful engine, because that's what really matters. And for that, I have decided that you can take the picnic train for working very hard. All the engines, except Gordon, cheered. Then there was silence. Gordon, do you have something to say to Dennis? <sighs> I'm sorry for what I said about you, Dennis. I wasn't thinking about how lazy you were before I got cross. I didn't think about how you would feel when I said you couldn't mess things up. Will you forgive me? Apology accepted. That's what friends are for. The engines cheered once more for Gordon and Dennis. And Gordon will treat Dennis as a better friend from now on. Oh. Annie and Clarabelle will be so disappointed.